How good is Microsoft's affordable flagship Lumia 830? We're going to take a quick look and show you what it's all about. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with Windows Phone Central and check it out, we finally got our Nokia Lumia 830 in from Microsoft. So of course we're going to give you the full unboxing tour and give you a peek at the OS and give you some first impressions of course. The 830 is one of a few new devices including the Lumia 735 or 730 depending on the configuration uh, that Microsoft announced at the beginning of September and they're finally hitting the market now which is not a bad turnover right that's about four weeks um, so that's a pretty good uh, you know, announcement to get it into people's hands uh, time frame, I think. Anyways, here it is. You can see a uh, very thin device. We'll take it out of its little baggie, of course, and show you what it's all about. So, of course, I got the orange one, but um, I can always change that because this is removable. In fact, that's what this little tag is all about. Um, so I'll show that in a minute. First, let's get to the box. Probably not too much going to be in here. That's all that exciting if you've seen these videos before. Here is the battery, which is a uh, 2,200 milliamp battery. You see the uh, shape of it's pretty different from the Lumia 730s, which was a lot uh, taller and more narrow. Uh, pretty thin, pretty good size battery life, not crazy. But then again, this doesn't have a crazy processor in it, so it probably doesn't need too much. We got the wireless charging info again, including the uh, various accessories that you can get because this device does have Qi Wireless built in. For those of you wondering, this is coming to AT&T, but we do not know the status of Qi Wireless, uh, and that's a big mystery. So we're trying to find out, and hopefully we'll figure it out soon. Uh, what's kind of neat is Qi's built into this back cover, so presumably AT&T, they want to be jerks, uh, could just add a cover without the Qi built in, but hopefully they maintain the connectors uh, to the actual device itself so you can buy it as an aftermarket addition, which would not be the end of the world. It's still not ideal, but you know. Of course, no headphones, so you do get the charger. Now this is an international unlocked version, so that's why you get the funky uh, Euro adapter there and then your full USB cable, unlike the 730, which just comes with a uh, AC adapter with a direct plug-in. Uh, let's take a look here at pulling this off. So you do have a little notch here at the bottom. So you can basically peel this off. And it's really deceiving, right? Uh, it's bizarre how that comes off because we're used to say the uh, Lumia Icon, also known as the Lumia 930, has a similar back, but you cannot remove it. So Nokia obviously went back to the table there and uh, did some change-ups. Uh, so you can remove the sticker here, of course, and it tells you where you have a SIM. Uh, that's actually a nano SIM, so in case you're curious and need to plan, you do want to go down to a nano SIM for this. That is the wave of the future, so uh, best to go there. And of course, this has a micro SD slot up to 128 gigs of storage, which is good since this only has 16 gigs of internal memory, which isn't too bad. But once you throw in that micro SD card, you can have pretty much as much memory as you want, and that's pretty awesome. Um, and like I said in previous videos with Windows Phone 8.1, you can install your apps to that SD card, so it really is just uh, expanding the memory. Uh, kind of interesting how the battery goes in here. Uh, it feels a little different, mostly because it's so thin. Um, it just pops in there like that. You can see, of course, that camera. Let me pop this on. See how easy this is. And it's sort of like the Samsung cases, right? Where you just gotta go along the edges and just clip everything in. It's definitely um, well done in terms of like, once it's on there, it feels pretty solid. Like you, there's no moving parts, it doesn't flex or anything. So that's kind of what you would expect. Uh, let's give a quick tour of the hardware and what we're talking about here. So let's start with the back here, of course. Uh, Nokia PeerView camera. So PeerView, of course, is there. Uh, phraseology for their high-end cameras. So specifically this has optical image stabilization and it has a pretty good aperture. It's f2.2, uh, 10 megapixels and of course you have a little uh, flash there, just a little strobe kind of light. No xenon of course, uh, but still you can see the design is very reminiscent of the 1020. Uh, as far as a camera hump, really there isn't one. If anything that's just a little ridge to help protect the uh, glass of the camera itself. Uh, it does have, like I said, optical image stabilization. It has six lens elements. 
which uh, is what the Lumia 925 started with. The Lumia 920 only had five, and they ended up adding a sixth one to help improve the clarity and sharpness. So uh, that's on board there. Going around to the top here, micro USB and your headphone jack. So uh, depending on how you feel about having micro USB on top, that is your only option. And of course, look at that headphone. The bottom is very clean as are the sides. And you can see it's very, like I said, reminiscent of the Lumia 930 Icon design. Coming over here, you do have your volume rocker, power button, and whatever I always appreciate, and I do too, is the dedicated camera button, which seems to be the differentiator between peer views, right? So peer view devices get the camera button, non-peer views don't. Uh, in a way, that kind of makes sense. Presumably, if you're buying this, you you know value the camera, and so you're going to want that camera button. That's not to say 930 or 730 years just don't value it either but i guess i gotta differentiate a little bit uh coming around to the front here you're talking about a five inch ips lcd display you got everything on board with this you got clear black you got corning gorilla glass you got double tap to wake you got glance uh you got the super brightness and super sensitivity so you can use gloves in the winter time so this is like the full deal for uh, a display the one thing it doesn't have is of course true hd this is a 720 hd display so you're looking at a 1280 by 720 resolution but if you've ever used windows phone before uh, you know that's actually not that big of a deal uh, because stuff looks great i mean this is being sold as the quote unquote affordable flagship which basically means it looks like a flagship. It has some features of a flagship, but it also lacks in other features as well. Uh, you can see it's kind of booting up there. Speaking of, we've got a front-facing camera, which uh, not nearly as good as the rear camera, nor as good as the Lumia 730. That is a 0.9 megapixel camera uh, which is not that impressive it's an f2.4 aperture um, you know i'm sure it does decent but let's compare that to say uh the lumia 730 which is has a five megapixel front-facing camera of course they call this the selfie phone for that reason uh and a 6.7 on the rear um you know, it would have been nice to have a two megapixel, but then again, you're talking about jacking up the cost a bit and they're trying to hit a certain price point with this phone. So there's an obvious reason why they kept that. Now, what's cool is if you are into the whole selfie thing, uh, there is a Lumia selfie app on here that um, will basically let you use the rear camera and it does an auto mode. It's actually really cool. So you just hold it up like this and it has facial recognition and then you'll hear an audio tone and it clicks when it goes off. So you can actually use the rear camera for a selfie uh, if you're really sort of into that kind of thing there. Looking at the bottom here, you got your speaker, which is uh, always good. It's at the edge there. So if you place this flat, you'll of course clear that sound. And of course you do have the microphone here on the back, which is really, really good. So this makes a big difference when recording concerts since uh, it matches the camera and whatever you're pointing this at uh, will do that. Speaking of uh, kind of an interesting thing on the back here, uh, they did this on the 732. They sort of highlight, you know, some uh, brand name features here. So you have Zeiss Optics, which is part of that peer view, but uh, other Lumio non-peer views also have Zeiss. Qi wireless charging, Dolby. So this does have the Dolby digital stuff on board. Uh, of course, there's your peer view. Mixed radio, here maps, here drive, windows, and then of course, you know, what's included there. Uh, regarding the processor, so that's sort of the non-flagship part of this device. Uh, it is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 1.2 gigahertz processor. That is the exact same uh, CPU as found in the Lumia 730 and also found in the Lumia uh, 635, which I actually have here. So all three of these devices are running the same CPU. Now, before you kind of freak out, uh, I got to say, I've been using the Lumia 730 it actually as my main phone all week, uh, mostly just because I enjoy it so much. And it has um, been fast and fluid I really have no problems with performance on this device. Uh, even on the AT&T network where it doesn't get full LTE, it actually um, has been performing very well. It's getting uh, mostly H HSPA+. Uh, so if you do want this on AT&T, I actually kind of recommend it. It's actually been a blast to use. But even at 1.2 gigahertz, uh, it's just been, it's been great. I mean, it's not as fast as a 2.2 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon 800, of course, but when it comes to everyday usage, launching apps, and just enjoying the phone, I really can't complain. So you're going to get that same experience here with this device. And of course, I'll be putting it through its uh, paces to see actually how well it holds up. Now, I'm going to finish booting this up, and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at the operating system and that display.
Okay everybody, we're back and the phone is completely set up and I've actually updated all the apps too. There's about 15 apps that need to be updated, mostly those core apps and some Nokia camera stuff. And I've been playing around with it for the last few minutes and I have to say this is one really, really nice device. In fact, if you're coming from a Lumia 920, I know this is a question some of you have. Uh, I actually have that here, although this doesn't have Cyan on there up uh, just yet. I gotta still update it. Um, you may be wondering if this is a, a worthwhile update upgrade. Now on the face of it, this is an 830, this is a 920, different series, it would seem like the answer should be no. But um, I don't know, it's a, it's a really tough question. I'm going to actually have to say that the 830 could definitely substitute as a 930 upgrade. Um, you know, you still got the Qi wireless, uh, 9.7, was it, or 8.7 megapixel camera on this one. Uh, of course, you're getting the 10 on here with the pure view still. Uh, you get the better microphone placement and all that kind of stuff. Um, and a larger display, five inches versus the four and a half. Uh, I don't know, it's also definitely thinner and lighter. Um, you know, the Lumia 830 comes in at 150 grams, whereas the Lumia 920, I believe is 185 or upwards of around that number. Um, and it feels it, you know, 30 grams difference is significant. Um, you do feel that when carrying it. I mean, I say that and I love, even just playing with the 920, I still absolutely love this phone. I think it's absolutely amazing in its design, but it is rather thick and uh, heavy. Um, but the 830 so far has been proving to be uh, just really, really good. It's pretty fast and quick. Um, I haven't launched the news app yet because it's just got updated. So let's give it a sec there. And you can see it pulling down. You can see how fast everything loads on there. It's pretty decent. Uh, there go the headlines there. And so we can click, this, click these stories and you can see just how fast the OS is. Um, you know, like I said, not as fast as a 1520 or 930, obviously. But uh, overall, I think it's good enough to use. Now, um, I did throw my AT&T SIM in here. And you can see I got a H and I get H plus on here as well. So it is a pretty fast connection. It's not LTE. So if you are on AT&T, uh, you know, you're probably best just to wait for their version. But if you really want the global version, this is the RM984. Um, and it works very well. It's the same as the Lumia 735 that I have. And it, it performs great on AT&T. You just don't get those LTE speeds. But, uh, you know, I've hit word, upwards of uh, 11 megabits per second on uh, some instances, and that feels just fine. Other than that, though, you got that nice IPS uh, LCD display. And let's go into settings here, and I'll show you what some of the features this phone has. It pretty much has everything. Like I said, you can go into display, and you got your brightness profile and color profile. So brightness profile basically lets you set the default brightness, which I really enjoy because I don't actually like having a bright uh, screen. And it lets you save your battery a little bit there too. Uh, you also have your color profile, of course. I set it for vivid. The IPS LCD is a little bit more neutral for colors, which is why actually a lot of people prefer over say AMOLED. Um, Having said that, if you do prefer Vivid, you can of course change that here. You can also do Cool and Advanced, which lets it set, uh, you, you can basically set it yourself by adjusting the color temperature, tint, and color saturation. So that is kind of nice. Other than that, sunlight readability, uh, battery saver, brightness there is there as well. Of course, the device hub, radar, motion data. So this is part of the sensor core stuff that is of course on there as well. That starts with the Lumia 6 series. So 630, 635 goes up to the 730, 735. And of course the 830 has it as well. Uh, you can hit accept. It's off by default, but you can choose to enable it or choose to clear the information. It's all up to you. If you haven't uh, use motion sensor or sensor core before what it does is it's collecting uh, your footsteps uh, location info and all that and it can tie into other third-party apps including Bing health and fitness which is actually now MSN health and fitness and it's basically if you don't have a Fitbit it works that way uh, if you're into health and exercising it's also good for running and that kind of stuff so neat addition to have in there you also have the Network Plus, of course, uh, extras and info. You'll see this has Lumia Denim installed, which is expected. The OS version is 14157, which if you're following things, that is behind the developer preview version, which is 141176. So 157 versus 176. Uh, of course, you can put on the full version of uh, the preview and upgrade that way and you know keep this OS even fresher. Uh, Still, not too bad. Uh, go to the glance screen. Of course, this does have glance. In fact, you can see it there. Uh, I don't have the weather stuff enabled yet. 
uh, this just updated and you can see always on peak and all that kind of stuff and then there is the weather app which I haven't been able to actually uh, play around with yet I have to actually launch the weather app and it should show up there so you can get that new uh, weather forecast on your glance audio everybody always has questions about this one so you do get your graphic equalizer this basically has everything that you expect on the higher end Lumia's so you get Dolby virtual surround Dolby audio leveling Dolby dialogue enhancer and flip to silence so that's all on board here and optional if you want to enable it so definitely a higher quality audio uh, experience on this device versus the Lumia 730 which only has some of the uh, stuff uh, phone update accessories so all the rest is pretty normal if you're in the US of course you can uh, set your language to English US and then you get Cortana so that of course is on board too uh, one complaint I kind of have is the the keys they don't light up which is a uh, you know could be annoying it would be it would have been nicer to have that uh, experience and I'll also say it does have haptic feedback meaning that when you touch it it lightly vibrates um, as far as the vibration goes it's very weak it reminds me of the 720s vibration which was also very weak uh, some people prefer that of course you can always turn it off even if you don't really like it so I would have preferred a stronger vibration uh, for the haptic feedback uh, it's a little inconsistent from like the Lumia 730 which I'd actually say has a pretty decent feedback uh, for some reason the motor on this one doesn't seem as powerful so just consider that overall though OS is very fast what about that camera so of course you do get the dedicated camera button and we can launch Nokia camera here so this is the Nokia camera not the uh, beta version now to clarify things there is a, another app coming out called Lumia camera that will replace this one now Lumia camera has all the cool stuff in it so that's the one I can do the 4k recording on the high-end devices and it also gets HDR and a bunch of other features uh, just go to WP Central type in Lumia camera and you can see our hands-on with that so this phone will get that app but it's not until Q4 uh, whenever that is it's basically in a few weeks to maybe a month or two I'm not really sure uh, so expect a faster camera experience with that app having said that uh, Nokia camera is actually pretty decent I've had really good luck with this like I said it's a 10 megapixel camera you can see basically how quick it is there it's not the fastest camera in the world but in comparison to other Lumia devices actually it's actually pretty it goes pretty quickly I, I really can't complain too much it's on I would say on the faster end for uh, Windows phones and so that's always kind of a great experience and of course you got video and everything uh, let's go into the settings because you may be wondering about that what you get on board you do get the standard stuff uh, set by flash framing grids uh, aspect ratio living images of course and then of course on the video this is actually the bigger deal you get surround sound so this records videos at Dolby Digital plus 5.1 so that was found in the Lumia 930 and the Lumia 1520 through the Lumia Cyan update and this has it as well too so this also should have the HAAC microphones the high amplitude ones meaning this is going to be a really good phone for taking to concerts like I said you get that front facing mic which should work very well and you can record in Dolby Digital 5.1 which is pretty awesome when you think about it uh, but there you go overall solid device um, the only complaints I had I said so far were the haptic feedback I thought it was a little weak but other than that it has been pretty solid uh, we'll do a full review coming up soon and of course at t is getting their own version which will have proper LTE on board and so we'll take a closer look on that no other word about in the US if other carriers are getting this uh, Verizon's getting the Lumia 730 uh, sorry 735 but uh, lo looks like a lot of carriers up in Canada will be getting the Lumia 830 so that's pretty cool but head to Windows Phone Central for more information and if you have any questions ask below other than that take care everybody